Go ahead. Yes, sir. I will talk on national issue about national health service in particular for health. It is in 92 million pound in debt, and a big process failed. If Labour Party comes in power, Tory Party is already settled on national health service. They already increased from five million to eight million pound now. What are we going to do? Address the situation. National health. There are so many elderly people now, and it needs to be addressed properly. Otherwise, I went to Royal London the other day. They spent one billion pound on that building, but it was a diabolical. I'm choosing my right word. All right, it was a diabolical service. I have come from West London, and I know I have lived over there. But I have never seen such a hopeless situation. To change my address only took two months. And I could not, I could not address, though I was, I was politically involved in Northwest London. I, and second opinion, they created two numbers for me, my uh, uh, hospital numbers, and they can't even amalgamate it. Even doctor can't access my. <coughs> what sort of service is that? And what is Labour Party is going to do about it? Thank you. Well, that's a very good question. Uh, and there is a great deal, there is a great deal to be done. Uh, and it's not just the hospitals, it's the GPs. Uh, somebody was speaking to me this morning, you can't get a GP appointment for three weeks in some of the surgeries around here. There's an enormous amount yeah, yeah, going on and, and, and needs to be changed. That he can talk to you. I, I've never seen such a no, absolutely, 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 especially in New York. This is the right. most poorest borough. And there are more medical problems in this area. Yep. No, I have seen that. Yep. No, the, I'm afraid the government has made a terrible mess of the health service. So what will we do? Well, um, uh, the first thing that we want to do is to introduce a mansion tax. A tax on homes that are worth more than £2 million. I don't think there are any in Newham, but there are quite a few elsewhere in London. That will generate £2.5 billion. And that money will all be used for the health service. And we envisage using it to recruit 20,000 extra nurses, 8,000 extra doctors. Because the fact is, we've got to spend more money on the NHS. And we've got to, we've got to explain to people where that money is going to come from. So we are introducing a mansion tax for that specific purpose in order to do that. The second thing we want to do um, is to improve the guarantees that are available. So for GP appointments, uh, a Labour government will guarantee you can get an appointment to see your GP within two days and will provide the resources to make that possible. Um, and uh, we will also ensure that the, that the waiting time to be seen at the accident and emergency units, which was four hours maximum under the last government, which for more and more people is longer than four hours now, we will get back to achieving the four hour target that was in place. And the third thing, when David Cameron was um, campaigning for election before the 2010 election, he promised there would be no top-down reorganisation of the National Health Service. As soon as they got into government, they started on the top-down reorganisation of the National Health Service. And the problem is that their idea seems to be to kind of bring in the private sector and to get people competing with each other. And I just don't think that approach is going to work in the NHS. I don't think we do need more privatisation. I think we need better organised, properly organised, but NHS hospitals and provision with different parts of the service cooperating with each other and not competing with each other. So we will also repeal the Tory legislation that was introduced uh, in this parliament by Andrew Vansley to, to reorganise the health service. Um, you, you're right to say that the, the, the Conservatives have announced today that they would spend an extra £8 billion pounds a year on the NHS by 2020. Now, the, their problem is that what they've actually announced is huge cuts in public spending over... They, they want to take £12 billion out, of, out of the welfare budget and billions out... Uh, but they're now sort of saying that at the end of, of the next parliament in 2020 there's going to be a big increase in spending. So their own Office for Budget Responsibility says 
they've got a roller coaster projection. They've got a massive cut for the next yeah, couple of years and then right massive right. increases after that, which really makes absolutely no sense at all. So what we're saying is, no, we are going to introduce a new tax, a tax on homes worth more than £2 million. That's going to give us £2.5 billion every year, and we're going to use that to improve the health service. And I think that's a, a more sensible well, approach. I, than... I, I think the elections will be lost on NHS. Yeah, no, I think you're probably right. Yeah, yeah. and they'll be lost on NHS. Because I see so many patients and say, we are not going to work glory this time. But then, when Labour comes in, what's going to happen there? How, how, how are you going to... situation... Look, people from Chelmsford coming to Royal London, mm. They, 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 this, when they created this Bath Hospital Trust, that had made a lot of mess, and they have to yeah. change that. Well, let me, I'd be interested to know what I think actually, if you look at how things are working in Newham General, or rather Newham University Hospital uh, at the moment, I think it's not too bad. It's not bad, no. Um, Whips, Cross, Whips Cross is terrible, as you yeah. say, and they've been failed by the inspection, and hopefully that's now going to be sorted out. Newham itself is not doing too badly. I think we've just got to keep a very, very close eye on what's happening at that hospital. Make sure that we, they've, they've, you, you're right to point out there are big debts there that have got to be met, and we've got to you know, look at how they're, uh, what they're going to be doing to pay off their, their debts. But in terms of Newham Hospital, I'm reasonably happy with how things are going, but we have to watch it like a hawk over the next few years. Yeah. And, and, and just to ask Stephen specifically, I have a question uh, that was sent about Newham General Hospital specifically. Uh, a number of ethnic minorities in, in Newham is, is over 50%, most of them from the sub Indian subcontinent. They're very sensitive about the women being examined by we women uh, medical experts. Uh, for example, in Newham, we don't have at the moment, uh, somebody who can scan baby's sonograph, who is a, 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 who is a fe female, so it has, it's, up, it's only a male. We only have certain doctors or departments which are only dominated by male doctors, so they're, they're examining uh, women folk who are not comfortable with that. So shouldn't there be something specific, that... Specifically in the maternity? Uh, yeah. Both in maternity and in other areas. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, I know of a lady who's got a shoulder injury, uh, and she's, uh, she was told two days ago that she can only be examined by a male doctor. Mm. So uh, why are we not recruiting based upon what the community needs? Well, we certainly should be recruiting on the basis of what the community needs. I mean, I know quite a few women doctors at Newham, but I suppose it's a question of which bit of the hospital you're in. Um, I'll be back. I think your point about the scans is, is an important one. Let me take that away specifically mm. and see what I can find out from the transfer. Okay.